This is the AMD Radeon R5 240, and we're going to overclock and benchmark it. Now, before we jump into all the great benchmarking, let's take a look at this legacy graphics card and see what we're dealing with. The R5 240 is an OEM graphics card that was first released in late 2013. It's based on the Olind graphics processor, has 384 shaders, and supports DirectX 12, feature set 11.1. The card runs at between 730 and 775 MHz core clock, and between 900 and 1000 MHz memory clock. The card is low profile and features a single cooling fan. The R5 240 comes with 1 or 2 GB of DDR3 or GDDR3 memory and uses up to 50 watts of power. So let's get ready to overclock and benchmark this bad boy and see what kind of performance we can push out of it. The first thing we did was update the drivers. The Adrenaline 22.6.1 drivers are what AMD offered for this card, so we installed those. I'll put a link to them in the description. The overclocking utility we used is MSI Afterburner version 4.6.5. If you don't know MSI Afterburner, it's a completely free tool. I'll put a link to it in the description. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the basics of overclocking and how to obtain a stable overclock for your graphics card, I'm gonna put a link to a video in the description that will take you through step-by-step -step everything you need to know. The program we use to test our overclock for stability and performance is Unigen Superposition version 1.1. It's also a free tool, link in the description. Now I'm gonna put a list of known successful R5 240 overclock values on the screen. Every card is different, but this should give you a good starting point in figuring out potential overclock values that may work for you. So how did our test card do with overclocking? Well, after a couple dozen tests, this particular card was able to reach a solid overclock of 1040 megahertz core clock and 1220 megahertz memory clock. This seems quite good and fits well within the range of the other example overclocks for this card. Let's run through a set of 10 different benchmarks to see how the R5 240 performed. First up, we've got Unigen Superposition Benchmark Tool. Running at the 720p low preset, base results achieved a score of 1751. After overclock, the score increased to 2153. That's an increase of 23%. Not bad at all. Let's see how the other benchmarks did. Next up, it's Mafia 2 Definitive Edition Benchmark. Running at 720p in the lowest settings, base FPS came in at 15.0. After overclock, FPS increased to 18.6. That's an increase of 24%. So another impressive boost to performance to be had here. Next, we've got Bioshock Infinite Benchmark. Running at 720p in the very low preset, initial average FPS came in at 57.7. After overclock, average FPS increased to 70.6. That's an increase of 22.4%. A solid boost to performance with this title for sure. Next, for all our video editors out there, we've got Blackmagic Raw Speed Test. Testing the performance for decoding 1080p raw video files, initial results came in at 118 frames per second. After overclocking, results increased to 140 frames per second. That's an increase of 18.6. Certainly a nice increase, however, it still lags significantly behind the Ryzen 5 1600 CPU we used in the test machine. Next up, it's CSGO Benchmark Map. Running at 720p in the lowest settings, base FPS came in at 91.4. After overclock, FPS increased to 113.2. That's an increase of 23.9%. Yet again, some excellent overclock results for CSGO. Next up, we've got Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker Benchmark. Running at 720p in the standard preset, base results achieved a score of 3227 or slightly low rating. After overclock, the score increased to 3960, also slightly low. That represents an increase of 22.7%, so it's a noticeable boost to performance with this title for sure. Next up, it's Forza Horizon 4 Benchmark. Running at 720p in the very low preset, initial average FPS came in at 18.7. After overclock, the score increased to 21.9. That's an increase of 17.1%. A solid increase for sure, though this title was limited by having only one gig of VRAM. Next up, it's Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition Benchmark. Running at 720p in the lowest settings, initial average FPS came in at 31.6. After overclock, average FPS increased to 38.6. That's an increase of 22.2%. So it's another impressive boost to performance for Sleeping Dogs. Next up, it's Grand Theft Auto 5 Benchmark. Running at 1080p, 50% resolution scaling, and everything turned down as low as it would go, initial average FPS came in at 63.0. 
after overclock, average FPS increased to 73.0. That's an increase of 15.9%. So it's a solid, though not spectacular boost for GTA 5. Next up, it's Borderlands 3 Benchmark. Running at 1080p, 50% resolution scaling, and very low settings, initial average FPS came in at 22.4. After overclock, average FPS increased to 27.6. That's an increase of 23.2% an excellent boost to performance for Borderlands 3. So there you have it, the AMD Radeon R5 240. Certainly a card that's getting on in years, but an impressive overclocker and able to deliver some solid 720p performance as well. Please feel free to leave a comment and thanks for watching.